The market has been created by yes. men. It's not a crime to be a 44-year-old white male either. Rob Moore, multi-millionaire, property developer, host of Disruptors podcast and money expert. His mission is to help you overcome your limiting beliefs about money. There are about 25 million men that would say Andrew Tate is good for society. And that terrifies me. Is it not good? for people who want there to be less of a gender pay gap that someone like Andrew Tate is chirping yeah, It's in. good, but not when you're denying its existence. But you're always going to have two sides of an argument, aren't you? Well, and surely you want people wading in. Him wading in, whether you agree or not, all of a sudden, 20 million people are discussing it. What do you think about feminism? Ooh. Why are you obsessed with money? Most people do not know anything about money. I'm not going around judging anyone who's broken happy. What I'm trying to do is educate people who are broken unhappy. I'm here opening my soul on the anatomy of a leader saying, bring it. Hello, my fellow leaders. Welcome back to Anatomy of a Leader with me, Maria Borostovsky. In a shocking turn of events, we've hit 100,000 downloads. I'm starting to think that you all actually like us. But seriously, from the bottom of my heart, thank you so much. As I'm in the lab preparing season seven, get ready for a trip down memory lane. For the next few weeks, we're running the highlights of some of my favorite episodes. So hit that subscribe or follow button, whatever platform you're tuning in from. Your support means absolutely everything. And we literally couldn't be here without you. Do the rich have an obligation to make sure that some of that wealth is distributed downwards? Hmm, that's a good question. I've not been asked that before in that way. To a certain degree, yes, but they already do. You just don't know it. And let's use me as an example. I pay millions of pounds in taxes. Taxes is wealth distribution. I am already distributing millions of my pounds from my own coffers down to the recipients of tax, which is everyone else. But here's the problem the government managed that money really badly. So the mainstream media and the governments would love the rich to be blamed, so it's a distraction over there. So the rich people distribute wealth already, they're not given the credit for it, and they do it better than the government. Warren Buffett is giving away billions. And it's easy for someone to sit and go, yeah, but he's worth 300 billion and he's only given away 100 billion and he's got 200 billion left, so he should give away another 200 billion. No, you go and fucking earn another 200 billion and then you give it away. Mm. If everyone who earns 20 grand a year gave away 500 pounds, the world would be a better place. Most people who earn 10, 20 grand a year don't give away 500 pounds. Mm. I've interviewed 20 billionaires. I am wealthy. I know loads of rich people. And they do a lot of good in society. Mm. They give millions away. They set up charities and is foundations. Well, what is better? Someone who earns 20 grand a, a, a year and they give away a thousand pounds or someone who earns a hundred million a year and they give away a million pounds because the million is less of a percentage than the 200 million, but it's a hell of a lot more than 500 quid. Mm. I would argue... The, you can do more good with the million. But there are more people who have 20,000 than there are people who have several million. So if all of those people did that en masse... But they don't. So it, it's sort of very well pointing the finger at the rich that they should be giving away more. If everyone who earns 20 grand a year gave away 500 pounds, the world would be a better place. Most people who earn 10, 20 grand a year don't give away 500 pounds. Mm. Andrew Tate was cancelled at that point. He is somebody who encourages young men to think about women in the wrong way. To me, that is not good for society because I believe in female empowerment. As a female entrepreneur myself, it is terrifying to see that somebody mm. of that grand scale of influence being supported by people like you because he is a nice person to deal with. An individual especially when they have such a broad reach, has a responsibility and has to take account accountability for their actions. So mm. just because he's not been convicted of whatever crimes that he's been accused of, he's still saying very misogynistic and very untrue things about women, both outside of your platform and on your platform. Do you not feel like he was giving misogynistic views on your show? First off, I 
totally respect that position. Is it not good for people who want there to be less of a gender pay gap that someone like Andrew Tate is no, chirping yeah, It's in? good, but not when you're denying its existence. I have never said anything misogynistic. I don't think talking about the gender pay gap is misogynistic. You're always going to have two sides of an argument, aren't you? Well, and surely you want people wading in. Because him wading in, whether you agree or not, all of a sudden, 20 million people are discussing it that weren't before. Is that not good? No, I don't think it's good. Well, would you rather not talk about it and suppress no, it for rather, another 100 years? No, I would rather, if it's in an interview situation, when he's saying that gender pay gap doesn't exist, and at the same time he says, well, people don't research and don't look at all of the facts, well, he hasn't gone into the facts. So you, as an interviewer, have a duty to push him on that and try to get the other side of the story. I just said men and women are different. Are. It's okay. We should not judge a woman by a man's standards and we should not judge a man by a woman's standards. But we are judging well, women that's, that's by, the problem, then. by, by that's male standards. That's the problem then. It is. It is. Yeah. And uh, What yeah. do you think about feminism? Oh. <laughs> Ouch. Um, define feminism. The belief that men and women deserve equality or as you called it equity i'm going to use those words interchangeably i don't believe that men and women should have equality because we are different i believe we should have equity where our differences are honored and then individually those skills and traits that we have are very different are maximized if you liked watching inspiring stories of leaders from all walks of life and would like to support our show, the best thing you can do is to subscribe. I'll see you in the next one.